Any others? But anyway, right. interesting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, or the millions and millions all over the world. By the website www.magic899.fm, of course, magic stations and nationwide. He is an actor, model, model, blogger, blogger. Influencers. Influencers. You've seen them on TV. Billboards. Billboards. On the fashion shows. And maybe sometimes girls. In your dreams. Please welcome on board. Mr. Richard. Thank you guys for the very warm welcome. Hello, welcome to the hello, show. Hello. Welcome to the show. It's your first time here? Or I second time? I think probably the second time. Second time. Well, no, first, so time, first time. 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 Welcome. Yeah. It's solo guesting first time. If ever. Yeah, but if ever. True. But I'm just talking about you know you not and not any other uh, products. Guys, or whatever. we've known each other for so long. Yes. Mm. What took you guys so long to get me here? Come on. Uh, actually, oh. your busy schedule. Yeah. Oh. Your okay. manager said there is You're an X number of zeros that we could not afford. Mm. Uh, luckily, we did save up. We did get a budget. We, we were supposed to get Jose Marie Chan, but yeah. <laughs> Richard, let's Richard. Back up, let's back up. <laughs> I don't know how to sing, though, guys. That's uh, a problem. That's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, that's um, right. But we asked you to come on the show last few weeks ago because it was uh, Youth Week, mm -hmm. and we thought you'd be perfect uh, for that for that special campaign that we had for for the kids and and for the listeners because. Uh, uh, the biggest, the biggest uh, issue right now that's that's all over the world, especially here in the Philippines, is uh, the mental illness associated with uh, social media. Right. Uh, but uh, first and foremost, for those that don't know, how did you start as, uh, I guess, an influencer, social media content creator? Yeah. Uh, you know, you went to UP. Yep. You, what did you take up? Mm -hmm. I took up broadcast communication. Okay. Actually, why didn't you be a DJ or a TV um, host or? I don't know. Just well, I mean, I started on Eat Bulaga like oof, like four or five years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I did um, something called Foranoi. Okay. Mm. And then that was when everything started. Like I came to the Philippines. Actually, I was born in Hong Kong. Sorry, I was born in the Philippines, raised in Hong Kong, but I moved back to the Philippines just to study in UB. Oh. And then for some reason, one thing led to another. I started doing modeling, and then. Suddenly went on Eat Bulaga and then yeah your career kind of tra tra trajectory yeah, but, uh, exactly growing up I was supposed to do business to be honest but oh, I, yeah I I I, I, was, I did Broadcom in UB and yeah for some reason now I'm right here after five years talking to you guys fantastic so you've been doing this yeah. full time yeah. basically everything is yeah. online from Instagram Twitter YouTube you, YouTube yeah for me well for me um I guess I do a lot of different random things I would say okay. like in, in the past five years of my journey I've done stuff on TV I've done a little bit of acting I've done a little bit of modeling mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of hosting mm -hmm. and I think in recent years I've been doing a lot more on social media like, yeah mm -hmm. it's something where I feel like I fully enjoy mm -hmm. so you're more at home there than yeah because I'm pretty out much, of all the mediums yes I'm creating content that I actually like like I'm not told to hey memorize these scripts and you gotta you know perform it. But mm -hmm. me, I get to choose whatever topic I want to talk about. I get to um, come up with scripts, come up with a, or even a show on my own mm -hmm. channel. So it's it's stuff that I really enjoy because I'm in control of pretty much everything. And, and what what do you put up? Uh, I mean, what, what is uh, your content? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people they're they're trying to figure out okay, what am I supposed to put up? How am I gonna get the hits? Yeah. But uh, for for you, what, what what do you? Because you said that you like it, so yeah. you're in control. So what do you? put up for those who haven't seen like your stuff because because to be honest like i i pretty much just be myself in all the videos that i do mm -hmm. so for example like i would talk about topics um that i feel like is people that you know we, we got they have to know about like for example like um youth empowerment that's mm -hmm. one of the things that i really mm -hmm. try to focus i'm going to focus more a lot more in the next couple months actually and um i also create content about um supporting the lgbt because especially for a straight man like there's not a lot of people who are actually very vocal in terms of mm -hmm. um, supporting the lgbt community and i recently did a video on that um, did you do a video i thought you were like pretending you were well i don't want to use the word pretending but, uh, I'm just, but you were i wasn't I, I would say i was normalizing okay the fact that hey 
people. My point I was trying to make is that I don't think that everyone needs to come out okay. in terms of gay. Like I want mm-hmm. it to be a normal thing where hey, he's gay, so why does he have to come out? Because the fact that you're kind of like making coming out a thing mm-hmm. adds again, pressure. It add, I mean in a sense yeah it adds pressure. Like why can't this. For example, like if I'm gay, I'm just gay. Like, so, why do I have to come out and tell the yeah. world? So it's I'm like gay? pansexual, where you don't even care what what gender they yeah, are. Like, so just human. So, yeah. Yeah. Live, 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 live your life. Live your life. Live your life. It's yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's normal to be gay. Yeah. So why do you have to come out? Because the fact that you're having this thing. I mean, of course, I can't speak for um, all the gay people because there are different people who have different perspectives on this. Because yeah, yeah. I read all the comments. There are a lot of people who are support. You know, were supportive and how I. Um, did that video the treatment mm-hmm. of it but mm-hmm. there were of course a handful of people who were also very upset because they say that I don't understand the feeling of um, being closeted in, in that mm-hmm. sense well I, I guess yeah, yeah. yeah especially yeah, if you yeah. grew up and mm-hmm. your parents are probably Old super fashion. strict yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. so I, I guess the whole coming out is such a it's big thing them. Yeah. the yeah. pressure yeah. is on it right? like for me I was just trying to support it you know the treatment of saying that hey what if it's you okay. live in a world where everyone can just be who they want to be mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. being gay is a normal thing so that mm-hmm. was a topic that I you know those are some stuff that I try to you know create content about so that it's topics that I guess is a little bit controversial with in terms of treatment but mm-hmm. it's topics that we have to talk about we should be talking yeah. about how do you deal mm-hmm. with the haters the yeah, you know, know the yeah. trolls yeah. the comments. trolls and you know uh, Jojo's one guy that's not very good at um, embracing that, you know, I mean, right. he he cries or he gets really mad, uh, he yeah. gets really down and depressed uh, when when his video gets two hits, uh, three hits, and then they're right. all the, all three hits are are just hating on him. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, he had two hundred followers on YouTube. Now yeah. he has one hundred fifty. <laughs> now, you know, I mean, stuff like that. How, how do you embrace the negativity, the 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 trolls and and um. All the, the all, all the, the bad all, bad. The, all the hate. Yeah. Um. Well, for me, like, um, it's more of just understanding or, in a way, trying to learn from what they think. I mean, mm-hmm. I do. I mean, for example, I for that video, that particular video that I put out, I remember I was close to actually not putting it out because I put a mm-hmm. teaser out and people were saying, "Oh my God, you better not be." "Quote unquote," pretending to come out or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. they're saying that it's doing for a clout. It's for blah blah mm-hmm. whatever stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I, I defend my own, you know, like, I defend my treatment. Like, as in, I just think that the, that particular video is something where it's it's just, I'm just trying to, like, make things normal. So, I guess, in a way, I try to understand why they think that way mm-hmm. and try to learn from it. Although, I might not agree with it or yeah. whatever, yeah. but, you know, we all... We, Everyone will have a comment. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, you can't please everyone. It's yeah. something that you really have to learn and understand. I mean, I've been doing this for like four or five years now. I, I understand all the haters out there. I know that some people just hate you for, you know, standing up for, yeah. for something. Does it get to you? Like, you know, I mean, you're not, you're not, yeah. you're, you're not, uh, you're, you're still young. Right. You know what I mean? So, uh, does it affect you when you go home and you know? I mean, you you sit and you're like, shoot. Do you take it with you? Yeah. Shit. Oh man, I'm getting a lot of crap for this one. Yeah. And or have you posted anything that made you like backfire to some extent? Um, I guess the most controversial thing that I did recently was really that video, and in a sense, they do get to me. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be like, oh my god, like why did I? What did I get myself into? Like, yeah. Do I? Maybe I could have avoided it by just putting safe content out. But at mm-hmm. the same time, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hey, if I if I believe in something, I should speak up. I should talk about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, treatment might not be the best one, but at least it's something that people will realize. And because I get a lot of positive comments too. I mean, there, yeah. There's no matter what you do, there's bound to be haters. Like mm-hmm. yeah. not, I, can't, I don't want to say haters, but people who don't agree with you. I can't yeah. say they're hating on you, but it's just they don't agree with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I see there is a difference between that haters and people who just don't agree with you. And mm-hmm. people don't agree with you. It's something that's normal because I don't agree with a lot of people. Yeah. And I speak up about it. I say I don't agree with you, but I respect your decision. I respect on how you see things. And that's how I think is, the, and that's how the world works. Like people, mm-hmm. we share ideas, we share concepts. And if you don't agree, you just don't agree. You try to understand them, but if you don't agree with it, but you that's understand fine. it, it's fine. I think now we're overly s- too sensitive to the point where if someone does not uh, match our opinion, mm-hmm. we chew them out. We we start yelling at them instead of saying we fight with. Yeah, them. it's yeah. like yeah. it's a violent reaction mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. because they don't share the same view. Yeah, and I, I think uh, Miss Tuazon uh, pointed this out that uh, you know I'm just this is my opinion, and then everyone was just like 
bashing and and hating on on the comment but, but you know it, we're it's it's freedom of speech we are, mm-hmm. yeah. we can we can agree to disagree mm-hmm. but why do you have to be so violent about it you can yeah. have your view i can have my view yeah. but what happens on social media it's like a plain out attack it's almost like a if if you could describe the words it'd be like fist fighting mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah without without no, constructive criticism mm. instead of it being constructive it's destructive social mm-hmm. media has made it where it's the worst possible outcome that's true yeah. mm-hmm. instead of looking at it where s- civilly and disagreeing where you can have a good conversation on, on, yes. Yes. on a on a on an open forum where mm-hmm. two people are just not agreeing yeah and just discussing sharing but now it's you. like you know it's like I, every time I see a pi no because mm-hmm. it, yeah. pi but this yeah. is all on uh, on the internet it's yeah. it's hard in this day and age it's hard to actually argue with someone face to face, yeah. Because you could you yeah. can easily say mm. your opinion on, on social media, but when in front of the person, that's when I, I think it's it's not like before. If you had something to say, say it to the person. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's so easy to type whatever you want and not back it up. Yeah. Just to but they're so angry, and you even hide your identity on social media, yeah. Yeah. especially on YouTube. Like that's oh. a thing. That's a YouTube. thing with yeah, especially YouTube. Like the thing. That's why I like in the sense. Facebook, where you can you, you can't really hide like you know, no matter yeah, what no, you're no. there you're putting up you know you, you have to stand by your words yeah. mm-hmm. but you know on YouTube you can just create a fake account easily and even Twitter actually yeah and Twitter yeah. too there's there's there are a lot of trolls who really just try to mess with you and it does get to you actually, actually mm-hmm. Twitter I I realized I, I'm, I'm I'm not on YouTube but Twitter is it gets really violent. Mm, they yeah. get really compared to like Facebook saying, ah, you're, you have to back your shit up because your face is there yeah. mm-hmm. that you, we know who you are mm-hmm. if you're gonna say something okay sino ka mm-hmm. but on, on Twitter you get these bogus accounts that are yeah. just bot, bot yeah. accounts diba? well because it's quick it, it's because it's just like you're texting someone so that's why it's easy to put up uh, a reply right away that's true yeah. right? so, so at least uh, it, it'll push your button and like block na nga ako na mga weird mga girls what do they send you Tones? Oh, man, it's some weird stuff. I start blocking people now. Like what? Right. Like it's just like not healthy. That's true. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I, I, yeah, that's really I get the all problem. these ads. Like, yeah, it's it's or it's all these selling something, and yeah. it's like I mean, uh, you don't know who's real and who's who's, who's not who's not anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but you've been doing this for five years. What can you say to the kids now that want to just? I want to be YouTube. I want to be an Instagram. Instead I'm, of being a lawyer, yeah, they want to make yeah. this their job. Their, 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 their plan A is to totally focus right. on social media. To become a YouTuber. Yeah. I um. mean, where, where do you see this going? Is it lucrative? Is it not? Or, uh, because you know best. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't say I know best, but I mean, I have... But you're doing yeah, it. I do, yeah, yeah. I do, Five yeah. years is, is, yeah. is enough, I think, is... Yeah. It's quite, you know, a long time to be yeah. doing it professionally. Yeah. Uh, to say it's not just a fleeting thing. It's not right. like, okay, I'm gonna be, you know, I mean, you doing yeah. it. Uh, you've been flying all over the world. Yeah. You've you've worked in different countries, all because of your Instagram. Right. So. Yeah. Where I do guess, you see this going? I guess um to share a little bit more is um I started to focus more on social media in 2017 actually. So I guess around three years, and that was a time where YouTube and Instagram and social media are really all picking up. Mm-hmm. And I still see so much more potential in the next couple of years because, you know, like the fact that everything's going digital now. Like um, when it comes to content creation, as long as you have your own niche, you have your own yeah. interesting topic and you have something to say and you're not afraid to say it. People are going to be viewing. People are going to be listening. Like, mm-hmm. if you keep creating content that everyone's creating, like, no one's gonna, you know, why would they want to watch you? you? Yeah, what makes you different? We're, mm-hmm. We live in a. We're very fortunate that we're in the world where everyone, in a way, can be a YouTuber, can be a vlogger, mm-hmm. can be a content creator. Yeah. You and can actually don't have to be part of a network now to be yes. a celebrity yeah. or a, yes. or influential for yes. that matter. But yeah. you can create your own content if you got something good. And it, I mean, the, the the most important thing is how you use those platforms, though. I mean, there. Are, I mean, what I I mean during my speech for New York Times in Hong Kong, um, a couple months ago, I talked about how people use social media. The problem with social media is people are using it the wrong way. Like as in, mm-hmm. yeah. tra- th- that's why it's so frustrating. Instagram, wait, na may sand tapos Bible verse ano yun? Well, I guess it's one of those things. That's that's a way to get followers. Shit, the bad. And that's the thing. I kind of like it. <laughs> Tony, follow yeah, yeah. <laughs> armpits, you know, toes, you know. That's your thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to make the market? Where the market? Are the market? <laughs> so you're just like, whoa. No, but I'm their market. I'm their so market. How, how should you use social media? 
No, like I mean, it's I, f- I feel like it's a platform's problem to be honest. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, this is something that not a lot of people talk about. Is people? I mean, on, on Facebook, on on you know the thumbnails on YouTube, mm-hmm. like the, it's always those stuff that gets the most click. Then if Facebook or YouTube can do something about that, where you don't try to promote the pranks, you don't try to promote all the all the stupid pranks where you know for example like the 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 thirst trap like the the stuff where you see a huge butt on the thumbnail and if you try to like push i mean we have ai nowadays who can tell you know facial recognition all that Mm. stuff i'm sure they can recognize a butt Mm -hmm. if they try to like not have those stuff on the platforms they don't show it that much and have more substantial content being pushed and i think you know we might live in a better world and my friend nas daily you guys know nas yeah Yeah. my god nas is one minute man yeah yeah, the one minute video guy like he is amazing all his contents are inspiring yeah exactly those are the stuff that we should see more on social media instead of having butts and more butts and more butts and more butts like I mean, yes, there is, yes, there is, you know, the market for that. But if we keep pushing that, especially the kids that are, are on social media, mm-hmm. everyone can see that kind of stuff. Those are and what they're mildly catered. Do you think that no, the parents? No, they're doing it because that's what they see. Ah, there are likes when they yeah. 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 show. Oh, yeah. So exactly. let me do the same thing. Exactly. Because you know what? We boom and bang, so to speak. And then should there be more um, you know, firewalls uh, that parents should be more strict or guidance uh, you know, I, on 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 their on their smartphones on their gadgets now that there's so much. Uh, information yeah. so much don't know bad, what's real. Well, so much bad influence in terms yeah. of you know it's they're doing it for the money yeah this is all done for the money That's they're true. selling their 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 bodies, the bodies yeah. to the money. get the trips yes. to get yeah. the cash to get you know i mean you can do it i'm not going to judge you how you want to make your living exactly but the youth the kids yeah. you know i mean you have 9 year olds 10 year olds 11 year olds watching this and like hey i don't need to do math I'm just gonna just show my butt. I'm just gonna show my my cleavage. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. And, and I get and a free trip to whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit record. You know, like, I'm not saying all. Yeah. yeah, but you are right. There are more easier ways to make a living because of technology. Yes, which isn't the. I don't want to say it's the wrong way, but I'm just saying it's it's uh if everyone is doing that, it, you're you're not empowering the women yeah. more so. Because that means a lot more kids are just gonna want. I'm just gonna just show my stuff. In a sense, you can you can put it that way, yeah. Which, which is why I, I it's get, it gets really frustrating. Like, especially as a content creator, like as in with my fellow content creators who tell me, oh my god, like I created this thing which is amazing. Like I watched it, I loved it. Mm-hmm. But then those don't get a lot of views. But yet it's the silly videos, it's the ones, the pranks, the challenges which gets millions of views. And then they'll be like, okay, I have to make a living now to create these type of. I don't want to say trashy, but like not so nice, substantial content or, in yeah, order to yeah. you know to in a way to, to pay for the bills. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's 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 the fact that those sell the budget. Uh, those those are the ones that sell and actually cr- generate more revenue for them. That I guess that's why that's that's why I keep saying it's the platform's problem in a sense for always encouraging these content to be pushed up there to be clicked to be. I mean, it's the algorithm. But isn't yeah. also the the viewers that are to blame? Because we're the true. ones viewing, That's true. That's we're the true. ones clicking, we're the ones liking. Because YouTube already knows what the uh, what videos you like, so that's yeah. uh, yeah. That, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, this is what's coming up next. Yeah. For example, say all those prank videos, yeah. the ones where people just start laughing, but then all of a sudden people are gonna realize, wait, you, that that one prank video where uh, the the person was coming up to the older people working in a store said, "Oh, you're, you're fired." Yeah, yeah. And that person had to say sorry is because <laughs> people like, wait, that 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 that's. A person's livelihood, right? And pe- that you know, people got mad at that. It, so I, know, I guess know, one, it's just weird. One thing that uh, our other DJ Gino, um, uh, we talked about is before. Of course, now it's also a, a blessing that everybody can you know have a platform, mm, yes. say what you want to say, yes. do what you want to do. You got a, some great talent, play the guitar with your toes or something. Go ahead, yes. let it out there. Mm. You know, you can do a, a marathon with one leg. That's amazing. But also, if you if you remember how everything started before to be a broadcaster, to talk on the mic, to uh, present on TV, you need a license yes. to do that. Yeah, because there's there are certain responsibilities that come with this uh, privilege of having a mic, True. of being on television, of reaching a lot of people. There's 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 that privilege, but there are responsibilities behind it, and that's why you had to get the license to do that. But now, in the event of social media where the playing field, of course, is leveled out, 
that license is removed because anybody can go out yeah. and say anything at in this day and age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wala well, makailangan ng license para maging YouTuber, hindi makailangan license mm-hmm. para maging Insta- Instagram uh, personality, eh, diba? Just and that's an email. Bo, that's the difference <laughs> now and then. Eh. That, eh, there, you had to go through training. You had yeah. to take a test. Mm-hmm. It, uh, there's a certain criteria for you to have that privilege of being able to reach uh, a sizable number of people. But now, you don't need that license anymore. True. And that's why information is just being thrown out there like anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't know if it's true. We don't know if it's not true. Um, just to get the clicks, you put out fake news. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Just go, okay, siyempre kiklik ka, babat naman tayo. Ano nangyari? Mm-hmm. Pala, buhay pa. I think Keanu Reeves died a couple times. Right? <laughs> Chuck <Chuck-chan. laughs> Norris, Chuck Norris, pare. Oh, Chuck Norris, yeah. Wait, Chuck Norris is still alive? Yes, still alive. See? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Mr. Sloan's got Rambo yeah. like last, last blood. So the responsibility <laughs> is He is can hardly move. <laughs> but he's still Rambo. Everybody yeah. has the privilege, but the responsibility is gone and everybody's just out there to I guess of course probably monetize yeah. mm-hmm. probably get the number of likes mm-hmm. the clicks mm-hmm. followers lahat. Fa- the followers, yeah. no, 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 followers I, I guess the followers equate to probably to money money yeah. becoming yeah. a business now yes. ah, there followers to. of course companies will look into this person also, mm-hmm. okay let's uh, try the to get him for an ad so. of something but like Georgie you charge 35,000 per post that's that's <laughs> insane bro that's <laughs> crazy bro but so so you know Kano si Tones 80k per sto- story ah. story pa lang yun <laughs> <laughs> I'm free I'm free I don't charge anyone tapos isip mo gano'n ko namin dot si Tony sa story siya Oh, so just imagine how much I get paid. That's true. That's true. I'm about to make 700k a day. This guy makes 700k a day. Just for stories. For just stories, huh? If I make 700k, I would be here. But okay. But if it's just a picture, you know that they, oh, they only paid half. Fifty, easy oh, fifty. They only paid half. I wouldn't pay half. So, but I'm about to mention in case in direction, and thus also it's becoming career. Yes. Let me let me be because it might sound easy. Na parang, okay, all I have to do is get on a camera, diba? Sell me, get a nice camera, yeah. pack, place yeah. a table, let me talk about what I, have, I need to talk about. Sa iba, make pa cute, diba? Or whatever. Mm-hmm. Get it out there. So, I, I think at this point, what, what's lacking is that responsibility. Exactly. That are responsibility. we still being responsible? Or are we just, you know, putting out content like anything? And as the receiver naman, we don't bother checking. We just, yeah. there, Information is coming in by the millisecond. Mm. Yeah. Not like let's say to be a newscaster on TV, you're not if if it's not factual, you're not gonna bring it out in the news. Yes. Well, I am. True. Um, talagang the the lagging ang ang you even have to use words like allegedly. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Etong, you have to be careful. Uh, Eto exactly. ang bang hindi pa nakakasuhan ay hindi pa na ka found guilty. Isang uh, driver ang di umanoy or allegedly mm-hmm. was uh, driving drunk. Kanya kasi hindi pa naman. Charged na guilty, eh, mm-hmm. yeah. These words are, are crucial, but ngayon, wala na eh, kasi wala, wala naman license. So I think that's what's tricky these days, and people don't realize that. Uh, and what's your advice to uh, the youth? Um, well, that's such a very um, yeah. <laughs> for those that want to start. That's yeah. heavy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for those that want to start or are frustrated yeah. for that mm-hmm. matter, yeah. post on post content on pero walang likes, yeah. walang ano, mm-hmm. di pa rin. I think for me, honestly, the bottom line. I mean, this sounds extremely cliche, but you just gotta. Do what you know. Do what you love. As in, you just gotta keep doing what you love. Because at the end of the day, like for me, I create content because I like creating those type of content. I don't create content where I do. I'm doing it for the likes. I'm doing mm-hmm. it for the comments. I'm doing it for the whatnot. like. As in, I'm not try- on YouTube. At least, at least my YouTube. I'm not there to make money. I'm just there to put content out where I, I I genuinely enjoy. And you know, I have other means of making money, but you know, for for in terms of content, it's mm-hmm. not something where if you're creating content that you don't enjoy you're just gonna hate your work mm-hmm. and I think at the end of the day like we want we just want all we all just want to be happy so create stuff that you like you enjoy and people will eventually notice because people will notice when you're doing something just for the money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's not something that I advise people to do so yeah thank you